So, I mean, I think there are two questions, one of which is sort of what is the need for God, but then secondly, what sort of evidence would suggest um, would suggest uh, the, the, the possibility that, um, that God, God does exist. And the need for God, I, I do think it is possible for someone to, to go through life without um, perceiving a need. I guess the questions I would raise there is um, twofold. First, where does a sense of meaning come from? Um, what, what is important in, in life and, um, um, and uh, um, how do you make sense of, 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 of questions like right and wrong? Are these entirely um, human constructs or is there something more um, ob objective? How do you explain the fact that we have something here rather than um, nothing. So I think on, on the one hand, there's the sense of how do you, how do you make sense of these deeper questions um, in, in life? I think my other response to the need would be, well, what if you happen to be wrong? What if, um, what if there is a God? What if the point of life is communion with, um, with, with God? If that is a possibility, then even if you don't perceive a need, it might be worth entertaining the possibility and, and examining um, the, the evidence. Uh, with regard to the evidence, um, we've touched upon already some of the um, um, philosophical arguments for the existence of God, arguments from design or from um, sort of fine-tuning arguments concerning the initial conditions that would have had to pertain in the universe to um, allow life to be possible. Um, in my view, there's also strong um, evidence for the Christian faith concerning what happened around the time of the life, death, and supposed resurrection of Jesus. How do we make sense of the empty tomb narratives? How do we make sense of the changes in the disciples' lives from fear to a message of proclamation, even amidst um, persecution? And those are um, difficult, historical, um, questions, but as I, as I look at them as best I, I can, I, I see some evidence at least for, um, for the existence of God and for a Christian God and for the resurrection of Jesus um, from the dead. So although um, I could certainly sympathize with someone who didn't see the need for belief in something like the, the, the resurrection, I do think there are interesting um, historical arguments that provide some um, evidence for it. There will be legitimate um, disagreement uh, amongst reasonable uh, people, but I think there are important arguments uh, worth considering that um, do point, in my view, in the direction of, um, of Christianity. Um, so, in summary, I guess one set of questions would be with regard to how do you, how do you make sense of the deepest questions in life, um, and then on the other, um, if God might exist, is it not worth at least looking at the evidence? Mm.